Oh, yeah. No, I, I just want to let everybody out there know the most important thing is having the freedom to feel if you want to be successful. Some of the most important people in the world have always failed before they got to their success. If you look at Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan got cut in the ninth grade in high school, and it forced him to work ethics to go chase his dreams and his goals. Uh, if you look from Einstein to Warren Buffett to uh, Bill Gates, all these guys feel so many times before they got to their dreams and their goals. I feel so many times. So don't be afraid to feel. Uh, I tell people all the time, you can never hit a home run if you're not willing to east, at least swing at the ball. There you go. So uh, it's a it's a marathon. It's not a race. Don't be afraid to fall down. Just keep getting back up. If you fall down eight times and you get up nine times, you got you got another chance to 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 win again and to chase dreams and your goals. So it's truly no limit to your success. Everybody know that I've done it. I mean, I come from poverty to be able to to be a factor in corporate America. Is, is a blessing and people don't realize even even that you know it's all about ownership but even when you look at the CEOs of the top 500 fortune companies we only have a half of one percent African Americans so that's why we need to change that narrative uh, so even while you're going to school and you're chasing your dreams and your goals you know that the narrative have to change and it's only going to change through ownership you're absolutely right, P. And I, I love the way you're starting the conversation off because our audience is, they're all entrepreneurs, people who yeah. want to become entrepreneurs or just people who just want more out of life. They're, they're seeking success, even if it's working for somebody else. Yeah. So a lot of what you just dropped is right in line with everything that we preach on this channel week in and week out. Before we go further, P, I have to congratulate you on your No Limit Chronicles. Yes. I enjoyed it so much. Now, I am a, a, a fan of hip hop. Yes. A long part of my journey was working alongside Sean Diddy Combs and building that empire from record label to the clothing to Sirac Baca. So from, from a certain standpoint, everything that you showcase, it resonates with me. Just yes. I haven't done it with somebody else. Yes. I learned a lot about you, P. I know that um, you speak, and, and, and again, I don't want to, to, to focus as much on the actual um, documentary. I thought yeah. it was brilliant, but I would yeah. like to pull out a lot of gems that you dropped because the way you shot it, it really was a master's class. It was educational yeah. for anybody. It wasn't just about no limit. It was, yeah. it was anybody who is aspiring to do something more in this life. And you yeah. dropped so many gems. Yeah, now it was about um, changing your mindset. When you grow up in a private and you have nothing, it's a mindset because you could give anybody millions of dollars. When you talk about making power moves, everybody can't make power moves. So you really have to want it. You have to desire it. You have to be passionate about it. Um, I noticed even in my lifetime, I've given people millions of dollars, but their mindset haven't changed. So they end up back to where they started from. And uh, I think you can relate to this by working with Puffy and having a mindset for you making your own power moves. Some people stuck into the mirage of, okay, this person is doing it, but don't realize that everybody is their own boss. And, right. and but you got to, you can't, envy or be jealous of another man or woman. You have to take the opportunity you have, make the best out of it, grow with it, and then go create your opportunity. Because I think being a boss is not for everybody and, and everybody see that, they want to play that role, but you really have to be committed and invest in yourself if you're going to be the boss. So some people are good if you look at Bill Gates, his structure is he created so many other billionaires because of people following the movement that he's created and everybody played their role on the team. 
Some people are not team players. Some people are just envy and jealous of the coach. And so you can't be envy and jealous of the coach. You got to play your role. I tell people all the time, uh, if you don't like what the boss say, then you need to go get your own business. And I think that's what entrepreneurs really have to take with them. Being successful is also being able to listen and appreciate other people that came before you. Or even if you're working for somebody, you have to be a team player because you are not in control of the company. Whoever owned the company is in, in control and you have to be able to work amongst your situations and make the best out of it. And so I think today should be about us teaching people how to fish and not depending on other people and saying, and also, and if you is working for somebody, appreciate them and celebrate them. That's right. That's right. That's why, you know, and this is not about me, but I, I have to, I spend a lot of time and I yeah. always give props to, yeah. um, to Puff. And yeah. primarily, I do this because I feel like he gets beat up in the media so much. Yeah. Yeah. And there's not enough of us who have come out of that system and who has yeah. done well and who have changed their area codes, zip codes, and zeros yeah. in their bank account that can say, you know what? It all came because that man didn't give me a fish, but he yeah. taught me how to fish. So yeah. I, I'm so happy you brought this up. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.